Hi everybody, it's Cece. Welcome to my QB makeup tutorial. Um, first of all, you're going to want to get your hair out of your face. Um, I put mine in a wig cap right away, but if you don't feel like it, you can just use a headband or whatever, I guess. Um, I apologize for my costume. It's a bit unfinished at the moment, so it's kind of nasty, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, first of all, you're going to put on some foundation primer. Um, mine is also sunscreen, so that's pretty nice. Um, also, put on some chapstick and let that soak in while you're doing the rest of your makeup. Um, you're going to want to take a concealer and conceal away your dark circles and any imperfections like zits or scars or what the heck ever. Uh, you're also going to conceal your lips because the lip color that I would recommend using is very pale. Um, so yeah, just conceal them away. Um, grab your uh, favorite foundation and dot it all over your face. For the record, I actually really don't like the foundation I'm using. Um, it's scented and I just, I really don't like it. But, um, it matches my skin right now, so I gotta use it up. Anyway, blend that out. Make sure you blend it all the way down your neck, into your hairline, all that, so it doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. Finally, you're gonna want to set that, obviously, so just take some matte powder and set it. Next we're going to be contouring. Um, honestly, I would not recommend this bronzer, but you're going to contour your nose by smushing your brush flat and kind of just running it along the sides of your nose to make it appear skinnier. Um, and then we're going to do the three-point technique, which involves taking bronzer from your temple to your cheekbone to down your neck. Um, and it makes it look like you have nice cheekbones. I'm also contouring underneath my chin just to give it a bit more definition since it's a costume. Um, I'm also going to apply some Strawberry Cream Mary Kay blush on the apples of my cheeks and also just on the tip of my nose a little bit to make it look just a tad more natural. Next we're going to wash our hands super well. Um, make sure you use soap and rinse all the soap off really well, dry them off nice, and then you're going to want to rub them so that all the fuzzy stuff from the towel comes off. Um, we're going to be putting in circle lenses. Um, you can skip this step if you don't wear contacts. Make sure you check with an eye doctor um, to see if you can wear contacts. But anyway, if it's not going in your eye, you might have to clean it off, so just dab it around lightly in some solution and then pop that sucker right in your eye. And there we go. Perfect. Um, I'm using the Blush Professional 120 palette. I'm taking this matte white, I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose and also the tops of my cheekbones. You can highlight whatever the heck you want. Um, yeah, but that's just what I'm doing. Um, I'm also going to take a generic white eyeliner and line my waterline. And here is me being ticklish, of course. Um, next we're going to extend that white line down below our actual waterline. Um, since the goal of this is to make our eyes very round, make it a bit thicker in the center than on the edges, but make sure the line looks very smooth. Um, next I'm just going to take that white eye shadow again, um, and I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. I would also recommend filling in your eyebrows, but I didn't. Um, take a very bright pink eyeshadow and pop that on your outer corner and into your crease. Make sure you really pack it on, especially if you're using the blush palette, because their eyeshadows don't stick very well, in my opinion. Um, and just blend it into the crease a bit more. And then we're going to take a medium pink and throw that into the center of our lid. And we're going to try to blend it in the, as best we can with the other color to make it look like a gradient. Finally, we're going to take a very light pink and use that on the inner cor corner, quarter, oh my gosh, of our eyes. Blend it in with the rest and darken your crease a bit with that very bright pink that we used before, just to give it a bit more definition. Um, next, we're going to be lining our eyes. I'm using gel eyeliner, but you can use liquid or whatever the heck you want. 
Um, first you're going to line the inner corner of your upper lid. And then we're just going to start off by lining a very thin line. Um, again, the goal of this is to make our eyes look as round as possible. So um, try to keep the line thickest in the center um, while keeping it very smooth. You don't want it to look like it's thin and then all of a sudden thick and then all of a sudden thin. You want it to be a smooth arc. Next we're going to take a tiny bit more and just line very very thinly on the outer outer corner of our eyes below our white eyeliner. Um, then I'm going to take this red body paint stick and I'm going to twist it to create three red dots underneath each of my eyes. You can also use an eyeliner for this or whatever else you can think about, think of using I guess. Uh, finally, we're going to be applying some mascara. Um, I'm using the Miss Manga mascara. It also comes in waterproof and it has a bunch of limited edition colors out. I really love this mascara and I recommend it to everybody that likes big lashes. We're just going to let that dry and while that's drying, we're going to apply this very pale pink lip color that I got from Sephora. Um, I don't really like a bold lip for QB because his lip is just a line, basically, so um, just a bit of color to make it look more interesting. And then once my eyelashes are dry enough, I'm going to be applying a second coat. Um, make sure that if you're wearing contact lenses, you're very careful not to get any makeup on your contacts because it hurts and you will probably just cry and be really sad. Alright, your makeup is now finished! Uh, so grab a wig, whatever the heck you wig you want. I'm using a Claudia in Silver from Artawigs.com. Um, Artawigs is my absolute favorite place to order wigs from. Um, also, just a reminder that curly wigs are very difficult to manage, so if you are a beginner with wigs and you don't really know what you're doing, I wouldn't recommend shelling out $35 for a curly wig, especially if it's in ringlets like my Claudia is. But yes, finally, pop on the rest of your costume, whatever you didn't have on during the makeup test for whatever reason. Um, yeah. And then as a very, very last step, throw on some ears with like weird hoop things on the ends. And then... Finally, you are a magical space ferret girl thing, and you are ready to grant wishes to girls all around the world and give them magical powers. Um, I hope you like my tutorial, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye everybody!